Flasman has been working on uh, Oscar for 10 years. So, so there were course. multiple Oscars. Yeah, yeah. Not so all alive also anymore. first Oscar that was born. But the question is, of course, when he stops feeding it, he's yeah. killing it. But do you call it murder? That implies that he might have some kind of uh, juridical status. Yeah. Does he have? Well, that? I'm not he's really not sure. A that's that's of course the, the the whole issue. I mean, do we consider Oscar to be an animal or or If you not kill an animal, is it murder? Yeah. Well, in any case, it's a morally laden action that needs to be justified, and that can uh, just the threshold can be pretty low. I mean, we kill cows every day for because we want to have hamburgers. But if but the closest thing of Oscar is maybe an organ, if an organ dies, is it? Is it a bad thing? I don't know. I'm just You're asking. I'm just asking if questions. If it's, so if it's more close to an over to an organ, we can replace it, it. I mean, just yeah. grow the cells again, and you've got Oscar back. Does it have an identity? Yeah, it's called Oscar. Does it have the same rights as as any living tissue with human DNA? Should uh, we grant well, more rights? Uh, so yeah, do we ascribe rights to something? Um, um, there are certain animal rights, we can say, but of course the, qu the very question is what exactly is Oscar? Mm -hmm. Because if it's only a tissue or even an organ, yeah. we do not consider it to be an individual. Yeah. Right? It's a individual at best. Mm -hmm. So um, I don't think that, that at, at present with uh, the kind of laws we have now that he can be considered as an entity with some rights. So it's also okay to pull the plug? <coughs> Of course, I think you, we also have some, at least not me, maybe a legal, but a kind of moral um, um, uh, obligation toward living things, also to all animals and also to plants even. Mm -hmm. uh, just to, uh, to destroy a tree, we find it also a not very friendly kind of act, isn't it? Yeah, this it depends on what, what Oscar actually can experience. If it can experience pain, then you can torture it. I mean, would it be okay to torture Oscar? Yeah, but yeah. I think it at present, what, what to, I... To, to, yeah. to, um, to stimuli. So yeah, but, but that, feels that's pain? the... No, yeah, but that's my, my um, robot vacuum cleaner also <laughs> reacts to stimuli. And <laughs> although I don't want to destroy him either, <laughs> because it's a bit too costly for it, but <laughs> um, that's, that's not a moral thing. And uh, what I understood from Oscar is that he doesn't have a kind of artificial brain, but a computer, some chips inside. So as far as I know, he doesn't have any awareness of, um, of his environment or himself. Of course, he's programmed in a way by this, um, by this uh, computer module to react at, and to uh, also uh, interact with the environment, but I don't think he feels anything. Yeah. And that's, of course, also with regard to animals, uh, if they are sentient or not is often a very important criterion. Yeah.